Hey kids, today we are going to learn how to draw a cute cartoon dog. We'll first start off by drawing an oval in the middle of the page. Then we are going to draw the eyes by making two big circles like this. Pretty easy, right? Once we are done with that, we'll draw another circle in the circle we just drew. Sounds confusing? Well, don't worry, just look at the video and you'll get it. Next, we'll draw a big and small circle within the circle you just drew. So how's your dog coming along? I know it doesn't look like much yet, but we are just getting started. Now for the nose. Now it's time to draw the body. You can start off by drawing a small rectangle like this. And for the paws, we shall draw something like this. Remember, this is a cartoon dog, so you can bring out your inner creative side. And finally the tail. You can draw a little curve like this. Oops, we almost forgot the ears. We can't have a dog without ears now, can we? You can draw them by making curved lines like this on both sides. Another fun fact, a dog's level of attention can be determined by watching her ears. Erect ears facing forward means engaged, slightly pulled back ears means friendly, ears laid tightly back against the head suggest fearful. Once you're done with the ears, you can also draw little patches on your dog. Now this is completely optional. You can also draw a little dog tag on him. Now it's time to go over the entire dog with a black marker. We can start off with the eyes. Be careful to go over only the pencil markings. You can even color the inside of the eye with the black marker, making sure not to color the two circles on the inside. While you are doing that, here is another fun fact. Dogs can be trained to detect changes in the human body. There are even seizure alert dogs that assist patients during an onset seizure. And ever wondered why a dog circles himself before sitting? Well, it's because he's making himself at home. Now, you can outline the outer circle. Remember to outline only the pencil marks. Next, we'll take on the ears. Do you know that domestic 
dogs can hear significantly higher frequency sounds than humans, although not as high as cats. Next the face and let's not forget the nose. And let's not forget the nose. So do you all guys like dogs or cats? If you all prefer cats, don't worry, we've done a drawing of that as well in our previous video. For the little patches on the dog, you all can use a finer marker instead of the one used before. You can also make another circle on the inside of the eye with the thinner marker. You can also draw a straight line which will be the ground the dog stands on. And we are done with the drawing. How does your dog look? Before we go on to the next step, make sure that you all take your eraser and erase all the pencil markings so that it looks cleaner and nicer. Are you all done? Now for the fun part. You all can now grab your crayons as it's time for coloring. We'll start off by using the color brown. With the brown color, we'll color the patch that we drew inside the body. Once we're done with that, we'll color the ears as well with the same color. We'll do the same for the paws as well. Here's another fun fact. Did you know that Dalmatian puppies are born completely white and develop their spots over time? And did you know that whiskers are used as sensing devices? Some dogs even use them to see if they'll be able to fit into small spaces. Back to the colouring, once you're done using the colour brown, we are going to take a darker brown and outline the ears. We can just shade the edges of the ears. We can also do the same for the tail and the spots on the body.
For the eyes, we'll use the color blue. Cause who can resist a dog with blue eyes? Make sure to only color the thin line inside the eye and not the whole eye itself. You can color your dog's tag with the color red. If you don't have red, you can also use any other color. You can then use a darker color to shade the inside of the collar. Now taking a mustard yellow, you can color the remaining part of the dog. Fun fact time again, did you know that your dog can smell your feelings? That's why when you're sad, your dog comes and cuddles up with you in order to make you feel better. We shall now color the face with the mustard color. If you want to use any other color, y'all can. Remember that this is a cartoon dog and y'all can color it whatever y'all want. Do y'all kids know any famous cartoon dogs? Well, we can name two. Courage the Cowardly Dog which was pink and Scooby Doo. If y'all know any more, make sure to let us know by commenting below. are done. There you have it, your very own cotton dog. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos.